Hello, welcome to my kit videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to calibrate your pH meter. All right, there are a lot of mistakes people do when buying the pH meter or when using the pH meter. All right, so throughout this video, I'm going to be showing you what to do, what not to do, so that your pH meter will be working for you for a long time. This is the Joan Joan brand. There are so many brands out there, so I'm going to leave a link down below so you can um, click and then buy this exact same type all right there are so many brands so be careful which type you are buying all right so you can buy from us italy amazon anyway one thing is when you order this Sometimes it comes with battery. Sometimes it doesn't come with battery. So if you try to turn this on It doesn't come on. All right, so you need to order the LR44 battery LR44 battery. All right, and this is how you put in your battery You bring this out And then it's indicated positive and negative. All right, there's a positive side of the battery so you it goes in like this and then also like this all right and then you push it in okay and then if you want to take the battery out you just turn it and then push them out from here all right so this how it's going to be pushed in all right the higher parts of the pins goes inside okay all right and there you have it okay and this is the protective cover of of the ph meter this cover should always be put back on all right so that your your bulb will not um, dry up all right if it dries up it spoils your ph meter so after everything you need to clean it with a nice cloth or tissue okay and then you cover it and then keep it wherever you want all right so stay tuned i'm going to take you through how to calibrate it all right let's go back to business when you buy your ph meter it comes with um user manual okay and then two buffer powders all right two buffer powders okay so you you need to buy extra buffer powders okay again i'll leave the link down below so that you can click and then buy exact same type of this buffer powder all right so you need extra buffer powders for a field calibration or for subsequent calibrations all right so you need these two all right? and you need three bowls okay one is going to take 250 ml of distilled water all right another 250 ml of distilled water and then this water for rinsing your ph meter after dipping it in any of the solutions all right so i'm going to go ahead and tear this take a little tear and then i'm going to pour it into this into the 250 ml of distilled water and then okay and then don't throw this away just put it beside the bowl so that you know it's for this then clean, clean for this yes so my tissue is ready for rinsing all right okay so after stirring after stirring now i'm going to begin the calibration we calibrate with the 6.86 first before we calibrate with the 4.01 all right so i'm going to take this off rinse it okay when you dip it, don't dip it over this line. Just keep it below this line. So you, you clean with your clean cloth, right? And I'm going to turn it on. Okay, so I'm going to dip it in. Press and hold the cowl button for five seconds. Release. You see 6.86 blinking. 
you leave it to stop blinking all right that is it it has calibrated you rinse you clean and then i'm going to dip it in the 4.01 hold the cow button for five seconds press it once you see 4.01 you leave it it has finished calibrating you rinse it you clean with clean cloth and then your calibration is done now if you want to test if your calibration was successful if you dip it in here you should get this value if you dip it in here you should get this value all right so i'm going to dip it in okay between 30 to 60 seconds you should get a stable value all right and there we have it that's a good calibration i'm going to rinse it clean it and then we try for we should get 4.01 can you see the number okay yes yeah, so it's stable at uh, four point sorry three point nine is that clear three point nine that's also a good calibration three point nine four point zero is, is close All right yes so thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't